Previously on the Good Good Road Trip Tournament. There's no way we're gonna do this. Every man for themselves, handicapped. Signed, sealed, delivered, oh lord. Somehow my bag got lighter, but I haven't taken anything out. I got that decaf in my booty crack, I got that. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to episode four of the Good Good West Texas Shootout. We are out here at Ratliff Ranch playing the back nine, and you guys obviously know the scores, but after the front nine, this is where we stand. Steven is at plus five. I am at plus one. AJ is at plus three. Garrett, one under. Luke, two under. And Brad, with the round of the day so far at five under par, unfortunately, is still in last place, so he's got a lot of work to do to come back. Guys, let's get right into it. All I know is I am currently 10 under overall. I'm basically like right where I started. Not having my best day on the greens, but we can turn it around. This course is very attackable. And Brad is five under on the front nine. Where does this hole go? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Is it that blue? I can't tell if it's the red or the blue fly. I think it's the red one. Yeah, it's the red one. Oh, we about to, we about to, we about to bust. Number 10, what is 380 yard hole? Uh, wind's off the left, dog leg left, kind of over the part of these bushes. Got driver in hand. Oh my gosh, the man is ripping it. That needs to be a 301 carry. I think it is. I think, yeah, that's, I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's gonna be on the green or anything, but I think it'll be up there close. Softly. Is that not good? I thought like mine was good, but we'll see. Got a stripe in this driver, man. Well, it's, my gosh. I really hope mine somehow, I mean, I don't know. I just don't know what's up there, but. It's only 360 front edge. These fairways are firm as balls. Maybe, maybe chances. Front pin too, so maybe. Wait, is there water? I don't think so. 102, it's kind of like a, a full faded 56. All right, here we go. Not gonna say much, 64 yards. I don't understand it. My practice swings are always so good and then I get up to the ball and I'm just like <clears throat> I should be able to fly it almost there. If I hit it soft off but just short oh, Steve, Steve, Steve. all right drive almost I mean it's basically to the front edge of the green got this little chip for Eagle again it's trying to hit it close and if it goes in it goes in so, uh, lower than I wanted it could have putted that easily but Shipping is just sloppy right now, today. Okay. All right, CP Ross, I want to make this putt really bad. I'm gonna cry. Um, I got like seven, eight feet from my birdie. I should have just putted that. I had a good, I mean, there's nothing in front of my ball. Should have just putted it. Oh well, make this birdie don't matter. It's just such a bad par, Brad. You are off the green by a yard. Still one under on the day, not playing good. Or not putting well. I think that's what it's come down to for me is I need to learn to score. Swing's feeling fine, everything's feeling fine, but left a lot of strokes out there so far. Through 10, one under. Brad's six under, so Brad's only two back at Quan now, and obviously Steve with that double is only 21 under. Like I said, everything is kind of coming together. You know, you got the big boys in the water, the sharks swimming around, being Brad and Luke, they're gaining on them. As expected, <laughs> good golf coming y'all's way. I'm excited to see what happens here coming down to the stretch the last nine holes lots of gettable holes out here so Guan's gonna start us off on hole number 10 par four yeah yeah I have zero clue what the line is I'm just gonna whack it okay. you hit the day 
looked pretty good. Kind of a similar line here. Hear it. Well, the only trouble is, is we have no idea what is up there. Hopefully that's all right. Yeah, kind of the same approach. We're just gonna swing hard and hope that the ball cuts and would like for it not to go left. So going right at the green, ready to go straight. Well, see, I saw it bounce up there, so I know it's safe. 82 yards, okay. Wow, cutting a little close here. I feel like right where AJ's at, and it just kind of floats a little bit. Oh! Ah! Chunked it a little bit, Michael. A little bit of that dirt. Maybe should try to club up and hit more of a lower piercing shot, but. All right, up and down for par, we're fine. Okay, Michael, I got 59 yards. I thought I was in that stuff. I'm not in that stuff, I'm into the wind. What club should I use? Wait, say it again. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, uh, 60. <laughs> what do you have? 60. Let's go. Oh, my butt cheeks and my freaking. What are you doing, bro? My turn. We're gonna putt. Oh, this is good. This is kind of good. Sit, 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 sit. Wow. Stymie. Hey. Thankfully, that hit Quan's ball, or else I was gonna be off. First, I thought I left it short. Then I thought I hammered it, and now we got a pretty putt. Swing from the ceiling. What a putt, Quan! Hey, wait, did you mark mine or yours? Park. Thank you. All right, it's good par. Par, par birdie, good hole for us. Moving on, hole number 11. All right, y'all, walking off hole 10 there, heading up to hole 11. There's actually some pretty good movement. Steve making a double there Ooh. means, yeah. Whoa. So you and AJ both gained two shots on Steve there. Whoa. Matt is uh, 13 under par, AJ is 11 under par, gaining on the leader, Steve, who is at 21 under par uh -oh. there. Yeah, it's getting interesting, boys. Yeah. Keep it going. How's it going, guys? Sorry to take you away from today's episode. Episode number four, by the way. If you haven't checked it out already, GoodyearGolf.com. There's a link at the top of the description. And we have a little special thing going on. There's a hat restock. We got polos, we got Q-zips, golf balls, and a lot more. Also, shout out to GoodGoodGolf.com for sponsoring today's video. Probably the most pissed I've ever been being five under par. Yeah. Granted, I have made a couple putts and like, what I made like a 20 footer for birdie, whatever, but there have been three poles where nine times out of 10, I make the easiest birdie ever. Oh yeah. And Easy. I made par. Without a doubt. All right, hole 11. Um, it's about 380 to the front edge. It's dog like right around this water. I'm gonna be going for the greens, dead down wind. So I think I should be able to get it there with the firm fairways and all that. There's like one little sliver of water that's like 325 carry. So I, I don't know. I'm just gonna swing hard, hit it high. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. Brad, you're in the way. Sorry. That right over the water? That should be up there somewhere, I think. That's as. I've said it like three different times, but that's literally as hard as I can hit a golf ball. I'm gonna try the same thing as Brad. Yeah, that's money. Get in the hole. It's not very far. I can cover, that right? Might, that, might get, that might get to the green. I can it cover. It should. That was sick! Ooh. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Damn, bro. See, <laughs> that's some. Freaking heat on it, Steve. No. Torqued. Hold it down. Steve's torqued up right now. That was crazy. We I, lost I think that. yours is going to be top-toss. Mine is a little right. I'm worried it might have kicked right. We'll see. Should be fine, though. You carried the water, though, easy. Right? Yeah. 
You probably, that was like 335, 340 carry probably. probably downwind. See how connected I am with the grass right now? Yes. Sure. I'll make a birdie right here, I swear. Connected. I gotta get. Fair enough. It's a good shot though. All right, here we go. Up the hill, left, right. Gotta play this about eight feet out left. It would be really cool to make a long one, but honestly, this is an easy par from here, so just kinda lag it up there. Really gave it a run there, didn't you, Garrett? Yeah, I want, I want to see my putting stats. I do. I want somebody to put them together because they have been the last two days. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Bro, what? Bird dog. That's an imposter. This guy is so good. Birdie. Thank you. All right, for the bird. Nice. Yo, Steve. What you call a bounce back stat right there, Steve? Stop. That was a birdie for me. A good drive, set that one up. Lots of easy holes probably coming up, so lots more birdie chances. I'm trying to get this down to a pretty cool number, possibly. Low 60s, so Let's see if that happens. That light thing? I, I so, the mouse. You kind of. Also, awesome. you see the dead tree, but you shouldn't see that light post up there. Yeah. There's just right at that. Okay, so just, just left of the shed. Yes. Okay. We got a par four, I'm assuming? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, over water, just going left of the shed. Keep sliding. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Thank you. Lost my teeth. Oh, there she is. Okay, we're just going to hammer it. I, I don't I don't know where it's gonna go, but we're gonna swing really hard. Good ball. Good. That's perfect. Nice. Oh. Good ball's great down there. Yeah. Alright, same line. Right at the mound. Woo! Oh yeah. That's perfect. Three good balls. I need to give myself a better look here for Birdie. Had lots of great drives that have been like that 60 yardage number, but I gotta make sure I give myself a better look for birdie here. Go, oh, I did it again, dude. Ah, that's so frustrating. A beautiful drive, and I got that crap for birdie. That's terrible. All right, let's focus in, let's try and make it. I like a little 60 here. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> It's too obvious now. We're around the green, of course it's gonna be 60. I will say there's a there's a ridge just like just left of where Matt's ball is, where, which is where you normally try to land it. And I think because of that ridge, I can't just like land it normally. I think I have to drive it a little lower. So I don't know. Don't like the look of the shot. Let's try to pull it off though. That ain't it. If you want to know how to not hit a good chip shot, was that right there? All right, Mikey. We have about a 20 yard chip here to get this onto the green. Um, as Quan said, there's a ridge that I want to try to land it around just so the ball can roll up. But only trouble is tight lie. You're gonna have to pick this one pretty clean and get it up there. Set. Gosh, these greens are rolling like crazy. That's so bad. 20 yards away and uh, we're still gonna have ourselves a long birdie putt. I'm just, I'd be happy with a par at this point. I think this has got a, obviously left to right movement here, but let's try to figure out how much. This would be a great birdie to sink here, come on. Great par. Oh man, that would have been crazy. Nice. Bump. Really need that one. 
two things I'm lacking right now and it's kind of showing is just patience and confidence. I need to slow down, take my time, and then just be a little bit more confident. Get back into a good rhythm, try to make this putt, hopefully make par. That's a big confidence booster right there. We need that going into these last couple holes. This is a cool hole. Got some trouble on the right, trouble short, trouble left. Pretty much just trouble everywhere. Yeah, 172, number 12, par three. Back into the breeze. Yeah, I got seven iron. I'm gonna try a little knock down cut. No. Uh, what'd you hit? Four, is that? No, that's fine. What'd you hit? Seven. Did you ever see it down? Yeah, it's short. Oh, come on, I need a birdie. I am playing so sloppy. I have no clue. Is it fine? It was over the bunker, yeah. What do you got? A five. I like five. I think that's good. I'm gonna cut it from Louise. Four! 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 Oh, that wasn't even close. Sick. Maybe it was six iron. And it didn't, it didn't fade. Double whammy there. Yeah, yeah sure. of course. Let's do it, man. What y'all doing in Odessa, man? Oh, uh, we're driving back to Dallas. From Arizona. We got on. Take it easy. Mine's on the green. Yes. Front end. Oh, wow. Did it like land on the slope and come down? Yeah. I had six iron, man. I think that wind was a little more aggressive than. Yeah. I need to lock in. I actually need to lock in. You and Brad, or you and Luke are catching me overall right now. Yeah. This is just unfortunate. Not a great iron shot to hit in there. It's a tough hole though. Making par would not be bad here. I got probably like the toughest putt in the state of Texas right here. I don't want to say that, but I got a very tough putt. You got to play like way up left, up on top of the hill. I like I'm at down right. Just two butt this and get out of here. That's impressive. Nice putt. Thank you. All right, up the hill. Just gotta get it on the green. A little long's fine. Um, this area over here was ground under repair and it's marked, so I moved my ball to the left a little bit. For the birdie, I need this one to drop. Get it halfway there. Uh, double. Dang, I ran after that birdie. Nice. Shove that, but. All right, two by far for me, I'll take that. All right, guys, moving on to hole number 12, par three. 171 into the fan. It's probably gonna play plus 10, 15 at the least. I'm gonna switch clubs. I think I am too. I mean, we're safe, so that's... Shot. Yes, thank you. I only hit a green on a par three. <laughs> Watch out for the right, huh, Michael? Watch out for the right. Quan got very lucky. He came around this slope here, played Plinko on the rocks, and somehow Ew. it came to rest right there. Nasty. What are you doing in the water? I'm not. I'm in the mud. <laughs> what you doing in the mud? Getting rid of rocks. That's fair. Oh, sweet. Where's the flag? <laughs> I can see it. It's right there. Come on, Quan, make a par. Oh, my God. All right, well, I'm going to tell you right now. I might go water to water. I'm not joking. You're Come good. On. You're good. I'm 
Dropping three, hitting four from here, this isn't great. Well, got to make that for five. Hey, a little birdie putt here. This would be an incredible, incredible putt to make. Man! You know what I'm happy about? Is I'm giving him a run, Michael. I am really happy about that. Got that for par. You're never gonna make a putt that you leave short. So just remember, get the ball to the hole every time. Nice. After that hole, the change in the leaderboard is Luke and AJ are now tied at eight under par. Brad is right there at seven under par. That's what's going on in the leaderboard. Other than that, Sharp made a par, stays at minus 13. Steve made double to drop back to minus 20, and Garrett made a nice par to stay at minus 10. So there's only a seven shot difference between first place Steve and second place Matt. Dude, this is all getting actually really close. Between first place and last place is only 13 shots right now. Leaderboard's tightening up. Stay tuned, gonna get good. Something seems to be wrong here. See, we only have 1.43 million subscribers, and 48% of you are not subscribed. I don't like that. And I don't think you like it either. So, if you're part of the not subscribed, let's go ahead and change that this year. Let's be subscribed. Let's be better than we were last year. Because 2024 is all about being better, and we want you to be a part of that. So please, go to Good Good right now, click the like, and click the subscribe button and help us reach our goal. Number 13, par five, I think it says like 5.30 something. That's straight, so, and the wind's downwind off our right, so swing hard again, try to get it way down there. Well, my car path too. You are a Should be good. One of those days, I love these days with a driver. You can just feel like you swing as hard as you want and it's just gonna go straight. It's a nice feeling to have. Where is it? Right. Headed to the right side by those stakes. Hit it good. Fortunately, just went a little bit right. That's all right. Perfect. Wow. Oh That's a good idea. Some good tee shots from Steven and Brad. I don't know if mine's even hit. We'll see. I. It, honestly, it sounds like it just kind of depends on the bounce. It could have easily bounced, right? If it's not, you know, it's not the worst thing. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're fine. I'm just, whoa, I'm way back, huh? I have 220, I got a five iron in hand. It's a little down breeze. If anything, if I land it short, it'll roll up. If I carry through, it should land kind of soft. I like this play. Low draw here. Oh, chunk it, but it could roll. That could be nice. Maybe get up too, there? Might be too far. I think it rolled too far. Hit that like, <laughs> like high on the toe. <laughs> Maybe carried like 190. Wind's going right, so a fade should just kind of hold up. So I'm gonna go right at it. I need to sit. There's no way you're up here. There's no way. But oh my god. <laughs> Brother. This is a par five. Five. Five sixty. One eleven's right here. <laughs> you have one ten. I said that drive four fifty, Colin. Four fifty. Four fifty. Five sixty par five, and I have one one oh five in. I'm gonna guess I hit a path too. I don't think I hit like that far without some I don't path think help. You did. Anyways, hey, good drive. Got sandwich in. One hundred five yards. Let's try to make an eagle. Eagle be sick here. So sit down hard. Sit. Gosh dang it, please spin hard. It had a lot of spin on it. Hopefully it ripped back. I don't know, we'll see. All right, well, this pin location is quite literally three feet from the edge of the green. I like it. Uh, has my putter not worked? Yeah, but we're gonna try it again. Oh. 
Um, all right, we got a putt at the at Eagle, so a two putt gets me a birdie. Oh, have like 18 feet from my eagle, breaking left. Love to make this thing. Sorry. Uh, yep. Nice. Feel a little confidence from that one. Yeah. It's like sometimes it's like a, it's like a shooter that cold all night. You just need to get to the free throw line, make a couple free throws, get the confidence back. That is three birdies on that hole. What a, hey, what a hole, boy. Little par five here. Yeah. Woo, big one there. What club should I go in here? Ah, uh, shoot, that's tough. I'm gonna say uh, driver. Wrong. Driver. Wrong. What? Wrong. But I'll hit it just because you said so. Well, see you guys. Yeah. All right, regardless of what's happened today, we're still having fun. We gotta keep happy thoughts, keep the vibes positive. Um, that triple, that triple stings for sure. That puts me now at eight, so I gotta just try to forget about it and just play golf now. Ball. The ball's obviously in that stuff. I'm not even gonna bother looking for that. 215 flag, downwind, off the right. Probably six. Kind of drawn in there. It's gotta be five. No idea. Take your long left, maybe. Let's see if we can pull it on the green. This is, I think it's like the first fairway I've hit all day. Oh, ho, ho. Sit. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that was too much club. I think that was good enough. Or I think that was enough club. I just, hopefully it's not too far. It's, it's playing 188. Michael, I think with this wind though, it's gonna be playing down to like 175. So, and I really don't want to be long. You know what I'm saying? So I think we're gonna play a little safe. Dialed in position here. Let's just dial in the shot. Hey there. Hey there. Big bounce up. All right, I think we might have a putt. It's tough to see, but that was a great shot. I've got this cart my way. Hopefully I don't hit it. But um, I went far enough left to where I somewhat have a shot. I think I'm gonna try to land it a little short and try to just end up where Quan is. enough keep going keep going wow wow that worked out so much better than i thought that was gonna be oh we have a chance to make par i can tell you with 100 percent certainty this flag is illegal that flag is literally one yard from the left it's three feet from the fridge <laughs> i've never seen this uh it has to be at least a flag length is what i know but it, i think i've seen like three three yards is the most i've seen this is literally three feet <laughs> this is nuts Don't mind it. Don't mind it at all. I mean, I don't know how you hit that much harder. Oh. Thanks. See how aggressive I had to be on that line? My gloves nuts. All right. Bird. Thanks. Thank you. That's some of the biggest movement we've had all day. With that bogey there by Quan and a birdie by Brad, they flip spots. Quan is now in last place at seven under. Brad is in second to last at eight under. And obviously with the rest of the leaderboard, you have Steven first at 21 under, Matt in second at 14 under, Garrett in third at 11 under, and then it goes uh, AJ and Brad tied at eight under, and then Luke now in last at seven under. But again, obviously everyone started at very different positions. Luke and Brad are still seven under and eight under total on the rounds of golf we have going here in the good, good West Texas shootout. 
stay tuned. Let's get on to the next hole. Hey, first like really hard hole. Yeah, what is it, like 460 or 470 par four. 470 par four. Brad's up here first with driver. This is like, birdie would definitely feel like an eagle on this hole. This is probably a harder hole than the last hole, to be honest, if the last hole is a par four. Yeah, I got driver, like Garrett said, just going to just swing hard again, try to hit another long drive down the middle. I legit just like, I like What the hell? There you go. Took a bit with the driver. It's kind of cool. That went far. I don't know what happened there really, but it's safe. Right side fairway. Don't mind if I do. Bro, this man actually turned into a different human. I saw the golf cart at the front of this. Man, there ain't no way they're here in Odessa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty sweet. Had to stop, stop by and play a little golf. Yeah, so. turned out to be a pretty nice day. Yeah. It was cold this morning. Yeah, it was. Yeah. This course is fun. Well, uh, like y'all saw, I chunked that driver somehow. It's a good thing though, because I stayed short of all the little thorny bushes. I got 182 to the pin. I got eight iron, should be a pretty good number if I hit it solid, so. Let's try to get one close, still birdie here. Oh my. Brad? Be all over it. Brad, oh my. Mm. I can't tell if that's really close or if there's like a hill that's on top of. I think it might be a little short. A little yeah. short. That's all right. I, I mean, I hit a great shot. Hit right at it. So I can't be mad. Hopefully it's a little closer than it seems. You no, know, this one might fight the wind the whole time. Or no, it's going to go with it the whole time. So I got to be careful. I mean, you see that building that's sticking up? I'm going right at that with the pain. Steve. Oh my. Thank you, boys. <laughs> I'm gonna just try and hit a hard P wedge. Got 142. I don't wanna swing easy at a nine right now. Thanks. Might be long, actually. I should have had, should have had spin on it, though. Yeah, it felt like it spun. Well,. I knew that shot was probably a seven iron, but I thought I'd have to take some off. And then my swing's just not feeling like taking off clubs right now with the irons. So I went with the hard eight, hit it good like y'all saw, but ended up way short, I'm like 50 feet. So, thought it was a lot closer than this. <clears throat> just focusing on two putt. If it goes in, it goes in. What's up? In or out. Pick that up for me. I've been over reading everything, but I'm gonna try and die this one in the hole. Take some extra break. There it is. Nice. You just need to see one go in in the last hole. I know. There it is, come on now. Nice. Did not break. That is clutch. That, I thought it was going to break more than that. It did not. Welcome to hole number 14, part four, 469 yards. Sharf with the birdie is going to lead us off. Pretty straightforward. I mean, there's not really any trouble. You have a world left and a world right to miss. Lots of room right here. Come on. With how firm it is, we've been able to get the ball out there pretty far, so why are we gonna stop doing that? Because that's so much fun. So let's do it again. Still felt like I'm missing the golf ball a little bit. A little high on the face. Here you go, AJ. Yay. 
Bad spot here, Michael. Once again. 61 playing 64. Good thing I brought the right clubs. What the? It went over that hill, right? I think you're putting, yeah. Oh, I see it. Come Man. on, baby. Let's make it. Solid drive. I mean, driver's, driver's starting to get figured out. It's like the second shots and putting the ball a little bit closer to the hole. So, Jarf's on the green. We're going to try to hit the drone. If it cut, that would have been such a good shot if the hole was 30 yards left. I got 114. Flag is on the green. Ball's in the fairway. Club's in hand. Hit ball. Okay, win. Just gonna take off work for a second. That's fine. It's fine. Mm. Dang, gave it another run. Michael, I like getting it there. Yeah, okay, down the hill, right to left. I'm gonna try to lag this one up there. If I go too hard at the hole, it's gonna like run off the green. So we're gonna try to leave it short. Dang, I don't know what that hit, but it kind of went a little left for a second and then went back to the... Yeah, solid. Right to left, just saw AJ's. Kind of quick though. Stay on the green, stay on the green, stay on the green. Stinger! Oy. Sharp! Oh man, it didn't move as much as I thought. I'm so glad that they caught the hole though. Great, great save, Matt. Come on. Dude, I'm just getting so unlucky. It's in my head now. The confidence is not there anymore. Today has been very rough on the greens. But you have days like that and you gotta just pick up and move on and unfortunately, this round's gonna hurt the scorecard. We should have Steve in the lead at 21 under par, Sharf in second at 14 under par, Garrett in third at 12 under par, Brad now in fourth all by himself at eight under par. You good there, brother? Yep. <laughs> and then uh, in a tie for fifth, we have Luke and AJ at seven under par. Let's get on to the next hole, y'all. Par four. 385, I think. I don't know if it's actually reachable. It's not as downwind as we thought. I'm gonna try and hit it as hard as I can and launch it. Well, hopefully the whisk gets there. That is right at it. Yeah, I think I've celebrated my birthday every every round this <laughs> this one. I think I've gone a little too hard today though. Oh my oh, oh my bird. Dude, those birds like just be up around the green. Please. I was the first time that ball didn't listen to me and it kinda just went straight and drew. Kind of the same deal of the shot. Just get it up there. What wait, give me a second. Yeah. Oh, sit. sit down. We're putting. Oh, we're putting. I didn't trust it. I didn't trust it. That's all right. All right, Luis, over here on the right side. I've gotten very lucky on a few of these holes that I haven't gotten in these bushes. I'm just barely outside here. Not the easiest shot, though. Got like 30, 35 yard shot. The green has all slipped away from me after that bunker. So, got to try to kind of hit it high with some spin and hopefully just hit it close. Yeah, I don't understand like how his brain connects to, do, I don't know. It is. With that kind of touch, I, I mean, obviously you have it. I can fully admit I do not have a leg Brad. Here we go. Get up and down for a birdie. I, I pull, I kind of pull all my wedges. Also, for those of you wondering, obviously we have been playing winter rules today. I think I already said it, but we've been playing the ball up. For the par from 
I had a 50 yard shot. You know, if I would have just landed it here, I would have had a easy tap in, but I'm not good enough just to hit off one piece of grass. I didn't trust you guys. Nah, that's honest. good. Might almost go in or did it just look like? No, it rolled pretty close. Really? Yeah. Damn. Gave myself like a 20 footer here. I think it's a pretty easy read, so Let's see if I can knock this thing and make another one. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, oh my, there's no. Hit the ball, oh. you dingleberry. Oh, that hit the brakes real, real quick. That's par. Yeah. I'm just gonna swing out my shoes. What's the yardage? 360. Oh, I don't have to even swing out my shoes. Swing out your shoes. Swing out my shoes, swing out my glove. Nice. Thank you. Big bounce. Go hard. Go hard. It's gonna be short, but man, if I didn't toe bang it though, not toe bang it, but hit it high on the face, I think I would have had a chance to get in there. Oh, hold on. Nice. Left. Right. left. Okay, Max, we found the ball. I mean, I'm pretty much pin high, just on the left side. This is gonna be tough. I don't know how it's gonna come out of this, but happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Try to get this on the green. Good. Looked a little too good. Just short. Figure it out. All right, Max, I'm gonna do whatever you say here. Do I chip or putt? Chip. Really? All right. Hey, you said chip, though. I say chip. That's what we're trusting. Go. See how bumpy that even was. I got a chip, more of a pitch, actually, kind of into the wind. The lie's not great, though. I kind of need to get up, get up in the air, so my hand's kind of forced, but we'll try. Hold it. Other than that, it was good. Now oh, that's off the grid. I'm still happy with that. I feel like if I would have used a wedge, I would have bladed that. It would have been over. No, I think I should have put that one, Max. That's on me. No, uh, I mean, I definitely could have chipped it better than that. But the good news is, still got a birdie putt here. Just barely off the green, a little right to left. I've been hitting them well. Let's hit it well here and see if we can't knock it in. Far. Almost got away from us there, Max. That was uh that was on you. <laughs> That's on me. Forever. Alright, number 16, part three, 195 yards to the pin, downwind. I got eight iron. I don't need to muscle it. I think it's just a nice stock smooth one. The wind is blowing pretty good. I should probably shoot at nine. All right, well, I'll go nice eight then. I was gonna have to try, I thought I was gonna have to try and kill it, but I don't think I need to. Go. Get a, go in, go in, go in. Oh. oh how close was that, actually? That was really close. That was really close. I thought I was gonna actually see that one disappear. I thought that one was gonna go. <laughs> I don't have a seven iron right now. I, I have to say, Steve used my seven iron, and as soon as I picked up Steve's seven iron, Steve was about to hit, and I whispered to Brad, I was like, I think my club's 20 grams lighter than his. I know that's why he hit a bad shot there. I swear. That's I right. honestly, I think you should hit another one. I really do. Because I should have backed him off, and I didn't. Just use your six iron or something, and just hit it lighter. Because you, you can't, you're not going to be able to hit a club that's literally 20 grams or whatever lighter than yours. 
I'm telling you, it was the club, 100%. I don't have a seven no more, but that's, that's tough. I tried to straighten my 60 back out, but that's just gonna have to do. I don't know what the loft is right now, to be quite honest. I was close. We almost dunked it. Well, the reason my ball disappeared is it went right here next to the sprinkler. Took a little relief over here. Now I'm going to putt it from off the green. Got like 25 feet down the hill. Breaking right pretty hard. Just got to be careful with speed. You know what I'm saying? Turn right, dingus. Oh, I thought I was going to have a chance. This would be an adventurous par. I'll tell you that. Let's see what we can do. Uh. Nice. Thanks. You know, it feels good to like make some short putts after three putting from 10 feet, missing the three footer earlier today. So that honestly, that's that birdie right there is kind of stealing one. I don't know if anybody else birdied that hole, but that was a tough, tough part of three. Hole All 16. Right. Hole 16. We've got a about a 200 yard par three. Quan with a solid birdie there, so he's going to start us off. Um, a little easier than the last part three that we had, so see if we can't all hit the green and maybe a couple of us make a bird here. Glad I didn't hit seven. Well, I mean, seven could have been all the way in the back there, but just like that slope looks insane over there. Uh, I was scared of going long. I don't know why. I hit a full or choked down seven, but I was just thinking in my head like a full seven would go way too far. This game is very confusing and it's very a very up and down day. Go in the hole. the hole. Oh, hey, that's helped you out. I mean, a little bit. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. How do I leave that one short? I only left two birdie putts short today. So I need to make this. I need to make this real bad. That's another bogey. But you know what? We're having ourselves a day. Ram job. Two remain, long par four, then a par five. out there. First bad driver of the day. We'll find it, hit it again. That's what Bubby says. I kind of danced with my club before I hit it. <laughs> you broke the shaft, brother. Oh, Garrett, hello. The whole desert over there. <laughs> the, the whole desert's over there. Do you see where it's going? Uh, yeah. You were left of the, you were, Then I was like at that telephone pole. Wow. Thank you. Alright. A little, a little hot in the face, but went straight. Should be running. What are the odds? Uh, I brought a hybrid, <laughs> I brought a hybrid, a three iron, and then I skipped a bunch of clubs and went straight to a six, which is exactly what I need. Somehow. That's left of him. I am super in between clubs, folks. Six or seven. I think I'm gonna go cut six. Or just a nice, I think it's a nice six. Come on, let's make another birdie. Ooh. I did not feel comfortable with that live for some reason. Damn, look at that jet. 
Everything's flying. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it is flying here. Um, all right, got 112 yards in the middle of the fairway here, back into the breeze. Pins in the back. So I'm gonna try to hit a 50 degree, take a little bit off of it, try to take some spin off of it. Yeah, that's a cl that's, mm, yeah. Good work. Go. Not bad. Well, kind of a weird hard pan lie, 44 yards. I would love to get this up and down for par, but you know, just try and hit a good shot and see what happens. I've been pulling everything, so we're gonna aim a little bit right on this one. What? Hit that so good, Colin. Oh, I thought it was perfect. Me, big fella. It landed super soft right in here. This is like the only soft part, part of the whole course. Um, now we're gonna make a long putt for par, but hey, you never know. I saw it, Colin. I saw it. All right, well, I am kind of glad I saw Steve's there. His did not move at all at the end. So I think mine's moving right overall. Yeah, let's make this putt get to eight under going last hole. Come on, Brad. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, well, you know, second bogey of the day. That's really... It kind of stings to drop a shot, but it all started with the tee shot. We we're on to the last hole. Par five, maybe eagle finish would be pretty crazy. Wouldn't mind that right now. All right, hole 17, par four. It's windy. I'm going to try to hit this ball as low as possibly possible. Today. That's good. Big pounds. That one's pretty good. I just found it. Yay! I don't even know what aggressive is. Like, there's probably like a yard and a half of space over there. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Sit on it, sit on it. One fifty eight. Uh wind's kinda like into off the right. I think it's mostly off the right, so I'm gonna try to cut it up against it with an Ocho. That gotta sit. Yeah, we're dancing. I swung, I swung out of my astronaut suit and I still didn't get there. I believe I have a double breaker. I think it goes a little bit left at the start and then goes right at the end. If I'm wrong, <laughs> I'm gonna look really dumb. That's straight. Oh my gosh, I wanted that so bad. I'm gonna try and play a little cut up here, Colin. Let's hit a fairway. Let's make an eagle. Let's do something crazy. Sit. You're dry. You're good. Yeah. That was that overcompensating for the right swing. I pulled it, but I'm not mad about it. It's par five. Going driver, just uh, like those five green trees out there, it's right in the middle of those. Brother. So good. Hey there. I hope you 
hope that's not too far right. <laughs> Thank you, boys. All right, we found some fairway. I got 260 the pin, three wood, starting it at those people. So no matter what, I cannot go out of play. Go. Dang. Thank you, boys. Thank you, boys. Cut three wood, shit ended up nice. I'm literally aiming 40 yards left. Trying to bleed one in there. 245. Oh, okay. baby. Thanks. Is that long or is that perfect? I don't know, but it's sick. It's like a 30 yard cutter in there, 40 yard cutter. Driving up good. I was worried you might catch a piece of that water if it kicked right, but it stayed left. Center of the fairway, left to right win. I got seven iron. I really, 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 really want to hit this close, make eagle, shoot nine under. I really, 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 really want to. Brad? Number. Ah, all right. Can't, I think it's a little short of the pin, but I got an eagle look. Let's make that. All right, Luis, final kind of call here. Would it put it or chip it? Put it. All right, here we go, up the hill. Luis told me to put it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it up the hill. Right to left. I'm gonna play about two feet out right, and whatever it wants to do, you can, you can do that ball. Yeah, that's all right. I don't love the positioning here. Kind of sloping away. Kind of need to land it like almost in here. A little bit short-sighted, but I've even thought about putting them. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. It's kind of the risky run. You just have to like hope you get lucky in there, but I don't know. Whoa, okay, calm, calm down. All right, chill. All right, well, I got like 30 feet up the hill. For my eagle, it's gonna be a slow putt. So I focus on the speed. I really, really, really want to make this. Oh, hammered it. Hit right through the break. I finished around with two broken clubs, and hopefully we shoot pretty good. It's a birdie. I'm scared you. That'll do at a par. Oh, Alright, Colin. I'm just gonna have to barely tap this one. Sadly. I broke a left. Are you serious? That's good. Oh my gosh. That's bogey to finish. Six under. Sick. <laughs> that wraps up our round today. All right, guys, coming up to hole number 18, 530 yard par five to finish. Easy little drive, just uh, have to carry water and everything. That's about, what is that, 260 in front of us? But a lot of room, so Quan's gonna lead us off and hopefully find the fairway. I'm just confused as to why there's a bridge on the left side there. I guess we'll find out. It'll work. And it goes right. Swing of the day. Oh, that kind of hurt too. Maybe we'll get lucky and find it. Oh man, that would actually hurt. That was not good. <laughs> Stay left. Quan's 215, I've got to be about 240 to the green. I don't really have anything that goes in between that, so I'm gonna hit four iron, try to lay up just short left, and keep this ball in play. No, oh, I hit that so hard. Stay left, stay left, sit, sit. sit. Still dry. Well, Sharp, where is? <laughs> Sharp, where'd you go? Sharp, right here. You're right here. Oh! 
Max with the clutchness here. We found it in the poopy dumper. Max, Max. That's the safe play. Max coming in clutch there. Yes. Somehow, found it. Somehow, some way, Max got me. That's huge. Try and get up and down. Come on. Very crucial, crucial hole because Brad bogeyed this hole. So I would get two back on him if I somehow birdie this one, Max. Dang, big shout out to you, Max. I gotta say, I, I, <laughs> I love you that for that. Good. I love you for that. Four, heads Step up. One. Dang, there must be like a big double ridge or something back there. I got that for birdie though. Let's see if we can't drain it. Come on. Try to correct our mistake there. I think it's just moving a little bit to the right. Wrong way. Nice yep, AJ. Good finish, brother. Oh. Yes. That's massive. Oh. Great playing. Oh, Great playing, gents. All right, y'all, wrapping up round two of the Good Good West Texas shootout. Steve coming in with an 82 today, brings him to 18 under total, and he still has the lead in second place. Sharp with a 72, even yep. par, going 30, 37, 35 for a 72. He is in second place at 14 Ooh. under par total. And then Garrett in third place with a phenomenal round today, going the 35 33 for a 68. He oh. comes in at 13 under par okay. total. And then Luke today going 34 36 for a 70 total of two under par. He moves to eight under par to be in a solo fourth place. And then in fifth place, we have Brad with the round of the day 31 35 66 to be at seven under par Sheesh. total. And then AJ today started out strong, 39. The finish out there was tough. He went 39, 43 for an 82 to bring him to four under par total. Mm. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you are enjoying the good, good West Texas shootout. We still got two more rounds of golf coming mm. y'all's way. Four more parts to this series are still to come. I'm excited for it. I'm, I'm excited, so excited. for it. I'm so glad I played well. I had a terrible first round, had a great bounce back. I'm, I'm proud of myself. Also proud of Brad. He he had a tough first round and then he kind of came did. back and bounced back. He so did. bounce back. The good guys are coming back. I gotta make sure I still play well because at any moment they could come and shoot six, seven, eight under, whatever. Yeah, so. with Brad and Quan, if they get hot, they're going low. But tonight, I think what do we have? Like four and a half, five hours to Fort Worth? Yeah. Yep. Stay tuned for that content. On our way to Fort Worth. Much love y'all. Peace. Peace.